Welcome to Learning Works for Kids Game Spotlights. This is a series where we go over new and popular video games and talk about how you can use the skills you learn in-game in the real world. It's Shanna here from Learning Works for Kids, and if you like what you see, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you know when more videos post just like this. If you want to learn more about how these sorts of skills can help you, look at lw4gate.com to see how our self-guided classes help you use the skills that you use in-game in the real world. Today, we are going to be talking about a game that asks the question, what if toilets had more guns attached to them? We are talking about the interactive short game, Aperture Desk Job. This game was designed for people who are lucky enough to get their hands on a Steam Deck portable console, but you can also play on a PC with any old controller. Let's this game started. puts you, the player, in the role of an office grunt at Aperture Science, the beloved Look sketchy institution from Portals 1 and 2. In this game, you are testing objects for quality assurance. And yes, there is another dorky robot in the mix. There are buttons on your desk which correspond to the buttons on your Steam Deck or controller. You need to push the buttons in the correct order to successfully test out the product. And from there, things get a little weird. If you just got your Steam Deck or want a tiny little piece of extra portal lore, definitely give Aperture Desk Job a try. This game is pretty short, but it does help you practice your focus and working memory skills. Even if the game itself isn't all that long, the player still needs to pay attention to the beats of the story to find out what is happening to their character as they are interacting with their AI companion and things start to get pretty crazy. The player also uses their working memory in order to remember what buttons on the controller perform which functions. There are times where the action on screen can get a little crazy, so not stopping to think about which button to press can be helpful to having the story progress smoothly. What other games do you want to play on the Steam Deck? Let us know your favorites in the comments below. Also again, if you liked the video, hit the like button. It helps the channel out significantly. Until next time, check out our other content at lw4k.com.